<laughs> Hello. Yay. It's a sparkly things video. So, um, a little while ago I asked you, because we haven't done one of these since, um, since Christmas actually, and I've kind of missed doing them, because I just like looking through a little few things, and, um, you know, normally it's stuff that I've found whilst out had treasure hunting, but obviously none of us have been able to do that for a little while. So anyways, I just thought I'll go through a back catalogue of stuff with a coffee. Nom nom. Mm. Lovely. And it's raining outside and horrible. So now just feels like a nice time to do one of these videos. So I've got some stuff in here and I've got some lovely sparklies and this is just mine. So that's my nice silver bangle and this which I was tempted to keep because it's very sparkly don't you think excuse the nails though I know they're, they're not immaculately clean but you know cleaner than they were <laughs> but I've been listing jewelry this morning and as we all know it gets a bit of a mucky business sometimes but anyway and this one I got from the jewelry channel I quite like the square like princess cut Anyways, stuff in here. So these ones are mine, although I might sell that one, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but this one is mine and the bracelet is mine. So anyway, what's in here? So yeah, you requested different subjects and the majority just wanted to see sparkly stuff. You were like, Go just show us sparkly things. Like, So I've picked out a whole bunch of sparkly things for you. So this is the first one, and I think this is cool as. This is trashy and awful and blingy. And I mean, why even put a cross in there? You know, why not a heart or love or metal or something equally as fun? But I do like it. That's something that I would probably wear. It's a bit big on me, but I think it's fab. That's a heck of a lot of bling in there, isn't it? I wonder if you could wear it as a choker. No, it'd be too small for a choker. But that would be kind of fab. Very sort of Marilyn Manson. But that's cool. I haven't got the light on in here. I've just got natural lights and then a couple of candles. That's um, pear and rhubarb. I love the smell of rhubarb. I've just ordered another rhubarb candle from um, Kirsten's Curiosities because I used the last one um, far too quickly. It was too nice. Right, another ring. This is just a bit of costume, but I thought absolutely lovely shape to it, lovely design. Like if that was in silver and those were diamonds, could you imagine? That would be glorious. But I like that it's sort of an, the eye shape as well. And it actually sits really nice. Lovely Aurora Borealis, like rhinestone crystals in there. Make nice rainbows, don't they? I think that's cool. Lovely bit of sparkle. Let's go for this brooch, shall we? Lovely Art Deco in style, isn't it? But I think probably 1970s. Maybe the sixties, but I love the the swirl to this. Maybe even a bit Art Nouveau-ish. It's kind of like that, the cross between the two, isn't it? It's very sort of free form, but very structural as well. Faux pearl in the middle, lovely rhinestones. Imagine that. I always say it with a nice sparkly brooch, like oh, on a velvet collar. See a bit of red or purple behind it. That would be lush, wouldn't it? Very organic in shape. Um, what next? Okay, let's pull this one out. Some lovely glass crystals again with like um, an Aurora Borealis coating. Glass beads, maybe not crystals. 
Butler and Wilson do something very similar to this, I think, and I thought it was them when I found it, but I can't see any marks on it. But I think it's a glorious colour green, isn't it? Why are you trapped in this paper girl? And it's got a lovely shape. See, that just looks to me like a high-end costume, doesn't it? I think that's really quite snazzy. And it catches the light lovely, doesn't it? Nice little bit of wire wrapping around there. Maybe it's handmade. Don't think so. No, I think this is um proper designer made. There's just no names on it, which is a shame. Okay, what have we got next? Oh, this is fun. Let's have another brooch. Untangle it from this necklace that apparently wants to come out next. So we will let it. But hey, who doesn't love a double cherries? Again, with a lovely sparkly rhinestone. This is a modern brooch. Probably a Chinese import. But yeah, that's a modern, modern one. Kind of lightly soldered to the back. But there's something really kitchen camp again about cherries, isn't there? That sort of rockabilly kind of thing. That would be lovely on it. A little white cardigan, wouldn't it? With like a lovely 50s style dress. That would be super fab. See this? There. That's better. Okay, well this one really wanted to come out. Now these are open back. It's not bezel set. I can't quite remember what it is. It is bezel set. No, it's not bezel set. But when they're like claw set, prong set, and dangle down, I can't quite. I did look up the name for them the other day. But I can't remember. Oh, you've got a friend with you as well. I'll show you in a minute. But again, lovely, probably late 50s or 60s. Aurora Borealis. Glass crystal. See with the open pointed back. Makes a lovely deep sparkle in it as well. Like you can see into the glass. Really nice along the collar. Super, super pretty. That with a lovely cocktail dress. We'll all be wearing them soon, guys. And gals. Right. Those earrings wanted to come out, didn't they? These, I think, are glorious. Bit of iris glass. Sometimes called watermelon glass, but watermelon glass looks different. Actually looks a bit watermelony with, like, the greens and red. This is iris glass or rainbow glass. Lovely Art Deco style, but again, probably 1950s. But gorgeous drop on them and really gorgeous. See the stripe going through the glass? Really lovely. That's something that I would wear. I think that's dead nice. If I was classy enough. <laughs> Ooh, another necklace. Not quite sparkle, but it definitely has some fire to it. So this is a bit of moonstone. But just look how in certain lights you get lovely flashes of blue, flashes of purple, flashes of green, flashes of pink. I think moonstone is so cool. Look at that. I think this is a nice vintage necklace. Got quite an old clasp on it. But that's lovely, isn't it? On sterling silver as well. I like silver. I don't have much gold myself. I've got um, my great auntie Mary's engagement ring, which has got tiny, tiny diamond in it. Um, I think that's 18 carat. And then the jewellery that I got from my gran is all silver. I've always preferred silver anyway. Right, here's got some, this one's got some fab interesting stones. I think this is an artisan piece. So someone's made this. It's not um, a mass produced thing. 
I mean, I know it looks a little bit bent there, but I think it's actually really well made. It's proper solid. Sterling silver, quite heavy, and lots of fab little stones in there. So I think there's some aquamarine. Um, oh, what did they test us now? Topaz and amethyst in there. What ring will it fit on? Oh, there you go. So that's probably, that's about a size uh, N, that one. But that's fab, isn't it? I like so that it's kind of off-center, you know, with the colors and stuff, that it's not all matchy-matchy. That's fab. Whoever made that, it's very cool by me. Right, someone requested some Art Deco and I'd love to do an Art Deco video. I don't have enough of it really. This is quite Art Deco in style though, isn't it? Again, it's quite structural. Lovely channel set rhinestones in there. And you'd be forgiven for thinking that that might be of an age. However, flip it over. It's by Bloomin' Next. How mad is that? I was very surprised by that, but I think it's fab. I won't discount it because it says next on it. I just like a nice design, and I think that is a really nice design. That, say, like, you know, with your collar coming either side of it, I think would be fab. Where are you gonna go? You're gonna go... <laughs> right, do you want to see some designer stuff? <laughs> Faux designer. This is sterling silver, but I very much doubt that that is actually Chanel. I've tested the stones in there as well. They're not diamonds, which is a shame. So I might have to keep that, unless anybody wants it, you know. You want to buy it off me, but not buy it as Chanel, obviously. But it is marked 925 on there. But I very much doubt it's Chanel because it doesn't have a proper hallmark on it. But it just beats me sometimes. Why, why fake things like that? Just make something nice that doesn't need to be faked. Oh, this is super cute. Okay, wait for it, guys. Look. Just a little pin, a little scatter pin, and a swan. It doesn't actually have a little sparkle in its eye, it's just painted green in there. But I just wanted to pop him in anyway because I thought he was lovely. I like little scatter pins. Just pop one in your tie, or in your shirt collar. It's very nice. Ooh, it's a bit more Art Deco. Let's go for a bit of gold. Not real gold, unfortunately, but how fab are these? They make me think of, um, what was that cartoon character? Is it Marvin the Martian? And he had these kind of things, like on his helmet. Makes me think of, yeah, like Greek gods and is it winged messengers. Very Art Deco in style with the fans. Lovely sparkly. These are pierced ears. I don't think they're super, super old. Probably 80s or 90s. But I do think they're fab. If they were in gold, oh my word. How gorgeous would they be? They're still cool. Nice bit of costume. They're fun. A lot of fun. Ooh. Let's do a few more crosses, shall we? Now this one. Mega freaking sparkle. How awesome is that? Again, really nicely. Um, is it cushion cut that one? That's a cushion cut. Or is it princess cut like mine? I think mine has more cuts in it. I think that's a cushion cut. Um, just glass. So these aren't um, like Swarovski crystals or anything. Don't think. But it is Butler and Wilson. C B and W, not B and M. That would be weird. Um, 
But yeah, that is a fab cross, isn't it? Nice longish. Actually, no, it's not that long. Where would that come? That would sit in your boobs, that. I would like a longer chain on that, I think. I think I would like that to sit a bit longer, but very cool. You can always change over the thing and then that comes off. But I think that's cool. Butler and Wilson are definitely a brand to look out for when you are eventually out thrifting away. Thrifting the night away. Oh, another lovely stone. Okay. This is gorgeous. Look at this. A lovely white opal. And see all the lovely little flashes in there. So what colours have we got? We've got like a turquoise green, a proper green, blues, pinks, yellows. That's really nice, isn't it? And so delicate. Just a little teardrop. And a nice fat bit of silver there. Stamp 925 in the back. I do like opals. I um, haven't seen that many white ones. I've seen a few blue ones. I think that's lush. Very pretty, very delicate. Most unlike me. Oh, this is quite unusual. I hadn't heard of this brand before, but I really like the beads on this, like the little cubes. I thought were well, quite good fun. Again, they got like an aur aurora borealis or petrol kind of colour on them, sort of moonstone effect on some of them. And I liked all these colours together. And then the tag looked like silver. Oh, that's probably a bit of quality. Um, but the brand is Coeur de Lyon, uh, which means Lionheart. So there you go, Coeur de Lyon. And um, pretty good make. So I think brand new would have cost about £80, which is crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. But I really like that one. I think that's dead smart. Should we have another, another necklace? And then I'll show you some earrings. So this is a lovely necklace. Nice pendant. Some nice pink stones in there. I think these ended up being amethyst i think and then i've got no idea what stones probably some kind of quartz a nice green quartz a green lace agate is there such a thing but look you can almost see they look like little trapped bugs in them almost i don't think it's amber because it's cold maybe i should test it under the blue light at some point but they definitely look like trapped things in there. Do you see? Really unusual. And it's a bizarre colour combination as well. You wouldn't normally think to put perhaps that with that. You would maybe think of using a yellow or I don't know, maybe another green stone to go with it. It's very unusual. It's probably modern, it is modern, but that does not make it not lovable. Oh, I want to go to this vintage bit though, I think this is one of my favourite things I've found recently. I think this is awesome. It's not silver, um, but it did have me fooled to think that it was silver, because it is just gorgeous. Again, I love the colour combination. The lighter blue stones there and then this really lovely dark blue stone and the ruby what's it called pigeon red pigeon blood red gorgeous detail turn it over lovely like the stamp work in there it's dead nice i think i might have found a mark on there at some point that said made in germany or made in austria i'm not sure i can't find it now but it's definitely um, like the bohemian kind of style. So this is probably 1930s and it is stunning. Just stunning. Mm. I love it. Love it. One of my favourite bits. So yeah, back to crosses. 
these have got an insane amount of sparkle. They are cut so well, not in silver, which surprises me considering the quality of the stones, but amazingly cut. Which makes me think that they probably are Swarovski, because they are cut so well and honestly, in daylight, or under like disco lights, they'd be so good. But they proper, like, they give off rainbows and it's awesome. So lovely pair of cross earrings there. A little bit too heavy for my ears. I like they're not heavy, but they're too heavy for mine, because my ears are pierced a bit too near the rim, if that makes sense. Like a bit too low down, they're not in the middle, so they look like they hang. So I can't really wear things like this, which is a shame. Because I totally would. I love them. Because they are so mega sparkly. I've got three more bits left. Two of which I think I might keep. I think probably will. But this, oh, look, look a little bamboo. Bamboo? Bam that's a cross between Bambi and Rambo. Um, I was going to say Bambino, but it's a Bambi. A little deer with little red sparkly eyes. I haven't tested the eyes. They may be enamel or they may be little stones. Can't quite see. But yeah, lovely sparkly red eyes, sterling silver, really, really handsome and super cute. I think that would go well in autumn, winter time, wouldn't it? That'd be a lovely gift for someone. Super cute. I love little tiny animals. Oh, actually, you can sit next to the little swan and you can look like you're Farting at the swan. Can you look? Farting at the swan. And the swan is going, whoa, that's a bit stinky. <laughs> right, last two bits, I think. Okay. Which one first? I'm going to go for this one. So, this is a bracelet. And it is insane, okay? <laughs> Completely insane. Look at all these sparkly dangles. They are luscious. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if they ended up being Swarovski crystals. I mean, I'd prefer it if they were diamonds, but I can't see that happening. This is sterling silver. So this isn't a cheap thing. This probably would have cost quite a pretty penny considering there's a nice extender on there as well. With another charm dangle. It is super heavy as well. But I love this. Lovely bit of sparkle. Totally something I would wear. Again, because it's fun and it's kitchen, it's camp. So yeah, it's it's probably a keeper. Probably. I haven't yet decided. But I do really love it. And then this last one I showed you a bit the other day. And I do absolutely adore it. It is modern, but it's very much in a vintage style. But it's this and look at all of these garnets I mean, let me show it you properly you can see this properly but look at all those gorgeous garnets if I could have it in ruby I would because ruby is my birthstone but I think it was absolutely stunning Nice design on it. Again, it's modern. I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being, you know, on one of the the jewelry channels. But that probably would have been a few hundred pounds, I should imagine, because it's quite weighty, and there is a lot of garnetage in there. But just stunning, isn't it? Just stunning. 
So yeah, that's my keeper. Obviously this. And I do love that. And the bracelet may be mine. But if there is anything here you want, please do not wait for me to list it because it will take me until next year to do it. So if there's anything here you want to treat yourself to, do let me know. Um, contact details are below this video. Um, as well as links to other things as well. But yeah, if there's anything here you fancy, do let me know. And um, first one to message me. Uh, to claim <laughs> we'll come to a price and I'm sure we can sort something out for you yay see I'm a little bit quieter than the, than the jewellery channels but uh, you know nice to see lots of sparkles right I'm not sure what video I'll do next time if I can do the Art Deco one I will but I'll probably do the filigree one maybe I'll try and get some filigree stuff together. But yeah, until next time, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.